Welcome to today's lecture. Today I want to show you a portfolio of a great photographer and uh, the work of her. Harshwardhanath.com Unleash the creative in you. Always inspires me and uh, I just want to show you that what kind of images with that lady shoots. I don't know whether she is into the stock photography or not but uh, the kind of photos she shoots are very very useful and we for being stock photographer we should aim to shoot the kind of images she shoots so today I'll be showing you that and uh, we'll analyze her work and her portfolio and uh, we'll try to learn so that we can incorporate that into our uh, images because uh, the kind of uh, photos she shoots there is a lots of demand for those photos so this is uh, 500 pics.com and it's Karina Kiel her name is Karina Kiel she is uh, basically a Russian photographer and uh, uh, you can see that her stats she has almost 28,611 followers okay she's she lives in Sochi Russia and uh, this is her portfolio and you can see uh, she basically shoots uh, uh, images of her children and uh, you can see that each of her images are so wonderful and so inspiring and when I look at these images earlier I used to feel that I don't know what kind of equipment she is using or there are so many people who whose uh, portfolio has the similar kind of uh, images then I used to wonder that what kind of uh, equipment are they using what kind of a uh, post processing are they using and I used to feel that they might be having a very high-end cameras though they do have that high end camera but you can achieve the same same result even with your own camera actually the magic lies in the post processing and uh, basically obviously uh, the image which you shoot that is also very important because if that is not there then you can do anything in the post processing so you can see that these kind of images all of her images they tell a story so the powerful image which I've learned these uh, recently that if you want to make powerful images and the images uh, which uh, sells well or which attracts the viewer are the images which tells a story or which has some concept in that okay some concept in that so you can see that these images every image they tell the story they tell a story that like these two children and the viewer try to get wondered that what they are up to what these people in this image are doing so like see see this uh, this beautiful beautiful image is taking little uh, uh, time to load since uh, my internet connection is not that fast these days and you can see that this is a story okay that these two little girls they are playing with this mice and uh, you might and it uh, it's a snow kind of a scene and this is not actually the snow this has been created in the Adobe Photoshop or in the post processing so you can see that these images they have a concept and there is an abundant of demand in the market of these images so if you shoot that kind of images I have also tried to uh, I've also started shooting some of my images like this though I have not fully incorporated this I am just learning and I want you to also learn whatever I am learning whatever insight I am getting, getting uh, day by day and I try to convey that insight to you so you can see and you might be wondering that the kind of a uh, uh, feel or the colors of these images they are dreamy okay and how do you achieve that this is actually the, the color grading technique in the 
uh, Adobe Photoshop or even in the Lightroom this is basically a this is also called the cross processing and uh, I'll try to uh, put a video of that in this course and you will see that each of these they have been originally it was not showed as short as they are but they were later on uh, color graded you can see that uh, in almost all the movies uh, specifically in the sci-fi movies you see that uh, the picture and and the scene is entirely different they have a, some color some different color tones so that is called the color grading and this is a great technique I'm a biggest fan of that since I'm an artist I always try to uh, make my images look some kind something like this and uh, to an extent I've even uh, uh, I've even uh, got successful as you can see that I'll show you my images also uh, okay uh, let me then make it open uh, let uh, my portfolio open by that time I'll be showing you all these images you can see that it's a great concept this concept this mother and daughter and these four childrens they are standing posing for the camera very old type and this type for this game of throne theme and this uh, beautiful child and the cute child is shown with the sword and this is uh, she or I don't know he whether he is a uh, male or female but she is wearing uh, this uh, 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 what is what it is called kind of a warrior kind of a suit okay and it's look great and this person this boy little boy is just jumping in the air and all these sparkles they have these have been added later on in the Photoshop this is a great technique and see this with little goat and this child is feeding her this is a concept okay this is a great concept and this child he's holding two dogs and th this one he's just running and you might be wondering if that would how this image would have been shot actually this Im this is a composite what I feel that this uh, this image is a con composite this uh, uh, boy with two dogs was shot separately and this boy which is running has been shot separately and might be the background has been shot separately and later on either the two images or all of three different images they have been merged in the Photoshop to show a, a concept or to show a story so these are great and now let me show you my portfolio this is my portfolio in 500 pics and uh, you can see that this image which I have showed this is a color graded image though it is it does not have the proper white balance because whenever you try to color grade an image then it tends to lose the proper white balance so as you already know I have told you in some of the some of my lectures that if uh, <coughs> your image does not have sorry if your image does not have the proper white balance then it might get rejected so unless you intentionally try to create some effect which increases or enhances the value of the image so in this photo I tried to uh, do exactly the same and I and I feel that it has not diminished the value of the image and what I have done that I have uh, created two copies one with the absolutely uh, strict to the uh, following to the uh, requirements of the microstoke agencies and one with my artistic uh, uh, effect on that like this one color graded this one is also color graded and this one is also color graded so I try to submit two images or three images sometimes like in this case you can see this one is black and white I've created and with little bit of extra uh, contrast and uh, increasing some colors and all that and in this one I've tried to create uh, this 
a single color effect where I've kept the skin as it is and whereas I've tried to made uh, I made everything black and white so this image is the uh, was the main image uh, which is uh, absolutely with the, a perfect white balance okay and I submit and I have created one more versions which I don't like that this is not good but I try to submit this one this one and this one so three images I'm going to submit and you can see that this one is is also been color graded this one is also been color graded and you can see that there's this is the image I have created three different versions of the same so this is color graded this is simple black and white which is absolutely I don't like this but still uh, I sometimes experiment I always experiment with my image and this one you can see and uh, you can see that this is also color graded because originally you will not have these green kind of shadows unless you put the light of that kind uh, onto the scene while you take the pictures so this one is a composite Photoshop composite I've created I have created this uh, this sun and these birds I have placed I have placed these two uh, deers and uh, you can see this is also color graded and this is composite this one is also color graded I my almost all the pictures you will find this they have been color graded because I am a great fan of color grading I don't like uh, the images the the way they come out from the uh, camera so Photoshop is absolutely essential for me that's a great powerful tool and stunning tool uh, the images are not uploaded uh, loaded yet due to some slow connection and see this one is also color graded by me this one it's opening okay and I created uh, some kind of abstract art on this and you can see that this one was shot by me in a holy river Ganga in India and I've created these lights these are called gold lights and if you have been following my YouTube channel then you might find a tutorial on that or you can visit my website harshwardhanart.com and there you'll uh, if you'll search for the gold light effect then you will like uh, you will learn uh, how I created this scene okay and these this one is color graded because this uh, sunrise or sunlight was not originally there I added that and you can see that this one all the images all of my images will find a color grading to that and that boosts the quality of the image or the that enhances the uh, I feel the value of uh, the image and I like that and I absolutely love that and uh, this one you can see that you will find a tutorial of, of this also or I've created a Udemy course on that that which is free to take if you haven't taken that go ahead and take that course that is titled as how to create magical landscape and uh, this is a double exposure uh, effect which is very popular these days and this one is not uh, for me this one is by one of my client called John and uh, I have basically done this color grading and this composite all that for him so you'll see that I've created three versions even four versions of this image and you'll see that all of my images are color graded so keep on learning keep on inspiring others and keep on sharing your views and your thoughts and so that I because I believe in that I learn from everybody we learn from each other so if you'll share some of your thoughts about this lecture about this course and if you find this course or any of this lecture useful then I would love to get a review from you an honest review for me that would really help me so thank you so much see you in the next lecture